Hi, Perry here. Hey. Oh, you guys won't believe it. I still did not get this palette expander out. But you know what? I'm not even going to talk about that anymore because I think I'm just going to have to use it until it doesn't turn anymore, which I think will kind of be a good experiment for everybody because nobody really knows how many turns are in one of these. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, I did some further research on these palette expanders. And it says if you Google how many turns are in a palette expander, it says there's approximately 50. Well, I'm now at 86, so I know that's not right. The other thing it says is that you get one quarter millimeter width per turn. And I'm going to show you guys in a second that that just could not be. Or maybe mine's just an, an expander made for an adult. And because of that, maybe it's just turning at half. But that's the only thing that makes logical sense due to how many turns. Um, on the 10th of this month, I'll have now had this thing for eight months. And I was supposed to only have it for six. So I'm a little disappointed about that. But what can you do, right? I lived for so many years not liking it after poor orthodontic work. So we're just going to do what we have to do. Um, I do have a lot more space opening up. I'm going to share that with you. And I got a new mirror, so you guys should be able to see a real close-up of this expander. Okay. That's the biggest gap I have opening back up here. Okay. And on this side, it's not near as good. Unfortunately, my last appointment, he was a little discouraged by the fact that the gaps hadn't opened enough for the amount of time I had worn the expander and the brackets. So he said that I may have to get something called mini implants to open the space up, and then they would be able to um, grow some bone or something like that to help the, the gaps open further, or they might just not be able to use a full-size implant. But if you saw my last video, there is a lot. These gaps have gotten a lot, lot bigger. So I'm hoping that's not still the case. And the expander had something attached to these incisor teeth. And the spaces in here weren't even totally closed after that seven weeks I went between appointments before. So he took that part off now. And um, it looks like we've created some more space. Oh, and he was like telling me he doesn't know how much further forward he can move my front teeth without everything starting to look flared. But I mean, the brackets are so big that I that wouldn't really bother me. I'd rather have flared than what I had for a while. So let me show you with this new mirror a really good close up of this expander. Okay, one thing also to note on this is there's no way that, that you're getting a quarter turn each turn on this device anyway, because these wisdom teeth were, were measured 42 millimeters apart. And these first molars before I got the expander were 26 millimeters apart. And if we just concentrate on that area, I think these are about at 36 millimeters apart right now, which at 86 turns would be approximately 10 millimeters in some. And that, and that really makes total sense, um, especially when you look at it this way. Uh, it's just really hard to get that wisdom tooth to come into view with this mirror. Although this mirror is pretty cool, though, because it magnifies everything pretty well. So right now, this is where I'm at. Really hoping that, I was really hoping that the gap would open up bigger on these sides. But it is what it is. And I think especially on this side, I mean, I, I think I might need maybe two more millimeters, maybe three more millimeters over here. Because see, this one's definitely not as big as the other side, unfortunately. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I'm going to start working on some other um, videos on the subject and stuff um, besides my progress. But we'll keep doing my progress, too. 
Okay, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Aloha.